Hi everybody, Helen with you today. Today we're going to be looking at the um, open scallop stitch which you can see here. It's a really pretty, really feminine stitch. It's got some beautiful drape um, and at the moment we're actually using this in our sampler blanket. So as you can see there's a lot of movement in it. It is quite an open stitch but it honestly it looks beautiful in a blanket and I can imagine a nice summery top made in that. Okay now to actually um, make this from from a chain row you need to chain multiples of six plus one stitch so for the purposes of this video I'm just going to do 19 3 4 5 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's my chain row. Now we need to go into the fourth chain from hook. So we don't count the chain on our hook. So then we count 1, 2, 3. And in the fourth chain from hook, we're going to do two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets, all in that same chain. And then in the next chain, we need to be working our um, wide double crochet two together. So we wrap our yarn around our hook, in the next chain insert your hook, wrap your yarn, pull through, wrap your yarn and pull through two. And then we'll wrap our yarn, we skip three stitches and in the fourth stitch we insert our hook, wrap our yarn and pull it through. So now we've got four loops on the hook. Then we wrap our yarn, pull through two wrap our yarn, pull through two, wrap our yarn, pull through two and that is your wide double crochet two together. In the next chain we need to be doing our chain two, I'm um, sorry our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets all in that same stitch. So I'm assuming that you guys know how to do a, a double crochet so I'm not running through that with you. And there's our next set done. And in the next stitch, we need to do our wide double crochet two together again. So insert your hook, wrap your yarn and pull it through. So now you have three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through two. Wrap your yarn, skip three, and in the fourth chain along, we need to wrap our yarn, pull it through, and then we've got four. Wrap our yarn, pull through two, wrap our yarn, pull through two, wrap our yarn, pull through two. So now we have four stitches left on our hook, which is fine. So in this next chain space, we need to be doing our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then we need to do our wide double crochet just to finish up. So wrap your yarn around your hook in the next chain, insert your hook, wrap your yarn, pull through. So you've got three stitch, three loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through two. And then you wrap your yarn and once you've got to the end of the row, you only skip one stitch. And in the last chain, insert your hook, wrap your yarn and pull it through. So now you have four loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn and pull through two. And that is our first row completed. So for the next row, what we need to do is chain three, your work 
Now you skip this first stitch because the chain three is going to count. You miss the next stitch and in the next stitch, which is the double crochet before your chain one space, we need to be working a double crochet. And in the chain one space itself, so every chain one space all the way along the row, we need to be working two double crochets, a chain one and two double crochets. And in the very next stitch is where we need to start working our wide double crochet two together. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert it into that next stitch, wrap your yarn and pull it through, wrap your yarn, pull through two. Skip the next three stitches, which will take you up to the stitch before your chain one space. Wrap your yarn, insert your hook, wrap your yarn and pull through so you've got four stitches, four loops on that hook. Wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn, pull through two. Now the next stitch is our chain one space, so we need to be doing two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. And then we do a wide double crochet across the next five stitches. So insert your hook into the next, oh sorry, wrap your yarn, insert it in to the next stitch, wrap your yarn and pull through, wrap your yarn, pull through two, skip the next three stitches and work that last double crochet before you chain one space to finish off that wide double crochet two together. And then in the chain one space, we need to be doing our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now you work that pattern all the way along the row until you get to the very end. And then in the end, we work our wide double crochet two together. So wrap your yarn around your hook, insert it into the next stitch, wrap your yarn, pull through, wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn and into that last stitch, insert your hook, wrap your yarn, pull through, wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn, pull through two, wrap your yarn, pull through two. And then you repeat that second row all the way along until you have your desired length or until the pattern tells you to stop. And that is how to do the open scallop. So thank you very much for joining us today. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please feel free to do so. Hit that little bell icon to be notified of any um, updates or additional videos that we may um, up upload for you. And as always, you can find us in all the usual places. Thanks very much for your time today, guys. Bye.